Hello guys and welcome to replay analysis. We got uh, Greg Fresh from TSOP and he's the winner of October's replay analysis. You know, I told you to send me replays and there's gonna be a winner every month. So this is Greg Fresh with his replay. If you're wondering how I pick the winner, it's random. And uh, well guys, there weren't a lot of replays in October. I don't know why. It's just send me a replay. It doesn't really matter. It's you know if it's a good game or not a good game uh, I'm just trying to make uh, these replay analysis videos just some other people can learn you know some other tactics and maybe see something different uh, there's not a lot of people that actually do these kind of videos so yeah trying to you know to show people di different uh, situations and uh, yeah anyway to the replay oh congratulations Greg Fresh by the way <laughs> you just won yourself one month of premium anyway let's go to the actual replay here so Greg Fritz actually saw these tanks here two scouts and one T-54 pushing down here gets a good shot from behind by the Centurion oh Centurion they really want that now if you're if you're saying that Greg is very aggressive here and he might get shot by the T-57 on the two line hope you guys noticed uh, that tank T-54 coming in and he shoots the side it's pretty angled of course it bounced so yeah, there is a T-57 on the two line, could shoot Greg, but uh, there are a lot of buildings on Greg's right here, and they're kind of protecting him. At you know, at certain right now he's not protected, but when he goes back, he's covered from the T-57. Oh, T-49. But that w as we can see, Greg is keeping an eye on that T-57 on the two line there, so he doesn't get sniped. T-54 coming out, throw the shot. Greg is going again. But there we go, T57 was paying attention. Good thing it did not uh, track Greg. That would have been really bad for him. Now, of course, Greg is not a bad player and he's not gonna go again there. There we go. He's gonna go for this side and, you know, T54 one shot. Now, Borsig was spotted on J3. That guy is sniping there. Now in this situation, uh, if you look at the one and two line, uh, I've led a lot of battle. But basically, they don't have that many tanks there that can actually deal with what the enemy team have. Oh, T57. It would be really helpful for the guys on the one two line if Greg gets good shots here. Oh, 5100 trying to push. Greg tracks him. Really good track. Repairs his track. Yeah, Greg goes in again for a track. Really good decision here. And this 5100 <laughs> he's kind of stuck. <laughs> he's gonna get shot in the ass. Oh, he still has shots. There you go. Greg takes him out. Four kills, guys, and 3.4k damage. Now, why do people go to that castle, you ask yourself? A lot of good players go to that castle, and I'll tell you why. Uh, you know, in the middle at F5. Oh, Oh, that was so unfortunate. Would it would have been nice to take the shot. So why do people go to F5? From the middle, you have shots on the nine line. You have shots on the two line. You can defend your cap, and you can also shoot in in the enemy team's cap. So from that area, you have a lot of opportunities, to, you know, to do free damage. Oh, VK just shot Greg here. Kind of angled a little bit. VK shot uh, the side there, penetrated. Ice free spot in the base as well. Let's see what Greg does here. Now there is a lonely IS-7 on the 8 line and the 3090 is poking him there. And if that 3090 gets spots on him, Artie could kill that IS-7. Would be really nice if that IS-7 dies there. Now the entire action of this game is actually right now on the 1-2 line. Uh, it's not anymore, excuse me, because they're all dead. <laughs> oh, they'll soon be dead. And Greg here, in my opinion, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I... Now, you know what, I'm, I think I'm right. Uh, he's very aggressive. This is a very big mistake, and I'll tell you why. This IS-3 was camping, so was the Borsig. And campers usually are useless, because these two guys here that are camping cannot really help the push on the 1-2 line. 
What Greg should have done was go to the castle where he would have had free shots on the guys pushing on the 1-2 line. You know, they would have tried him pushing into the cap. But he gets himself right now. You know, he lost 800 hit points. But right now he's going to get in a very good position. Hold down. And he's going to kill the RT and he's going to deal damage to the IS-3. IS-3 in this situation should run the fuck away as fast as possible. He's obviously trying to get shots. You're not gonna pin an object 140 hold down. Even if you shoot gold, man. <laughs> Should've ran away. You know, he's probably a new or very bad player. Cause he was camping in his eyes free, I guess. And Batcher is gonna shoot. <laughs> Batcher is gonna shoot the I-7 directly, yes. And I-7 is out. Borsig still... You can't go back now to the castle. I think he was trying to think like, I should go back. And he can't because there's a Borsig there. And he will shoot you. Probably kill you. We don't know where the 39 is going though. So, if you would have been in, in that F5 position there, you would have had, had shots on the E100 and the guys that were pushing your cap. So yeah, uh, not a very good decision to push the Borsing in the ice free like that. It was pretty reckless there, but it worked out. Worked out. You did not die. You got seven kills. You got 6.4k damage. And right now, uh, this is a pretty bad. This is not again not a very good position because you are showing your side. But those guys, I don't think they. Oh, they are spotting you. So will they pay attention to you? No, they won't. <laughs> that ISP was full hit points guys, but he got wrecked by the RT. Mr. ISP is trying to still trying to go forward. Gets himself killed. So Greg, small decisions, they're pretty good. You're you know you oh T54. But you have to think small and big at the same time because you know you have to be a little bit more tactical here so I think to, to take note of guys campers try and ignore them till the late game if they're camping and they're bad you know try to avoid them you don't want to push them if they're camping try and deal with it make ambushes for tanks that uh, are aggressive that are pushing make make uh, ambushes for them because you know they're gonna be reckless a lot of players when they do push they're reckless and you're gonna have s side shots on them when you're pushing a camper, he'll, he'll always pay attention, you know, from usually the direction you're coming from. And yeah, it's it's much easier to deal with tanks that are reckless and pushing than to deal with campers. Campers, you can deal with them uh, at the end of the game when you know, they're alone. And like this Borsig. Borsig gonna get killed easily here. Greg has 9 kills. And will he get the pools medal? Let's see. we go there we go pulls metal for Greg so thank you for watching this replay guys and uh, good job for Greg on your uh, pulls metal and while you were a little bit uh, reckless there there was still a very good game uh, nice reflexes and uh, well you're pretty you have awareness and um, yeah, guys, send me those replays. Congratulations, Greg. And, uh, well, see you on the next uh, replay analysis, guys. Goodbye and have fun.